Hello everyone, this is Anna and today we are on day 10 of the Cambridge Weight Plan Diet and um, I thought I would do a review of how I am finding the plan so far, uh, a few highlights, lowlights and then a few tips from myself. So let me get started. Now in terms of just an overall description of the diet, so the Cambridge Weight Plan Diet or the one-to-one -one diet as you may have heard it is based on being a very low calorie ketosis type of diet where it reduces your calories to 800 calories a day. It puts you in ketosis, which means that your body, um, instead of using carbs and sugar to fuel itself, it uses its fat stores and therefore you're burning all the fat and it helps you to fast track your weight loss. But what it also does, it reduces your calorie, um, not just your calorie input, but also your portion sizes. So you retrain your brain and your mouth and your stomach to eat smaller portions and gradually reintroduces them through, um, uh, it reintroduces food and it helps you to learn how to eat again um, through six different steps. Um, the steps and where you start depends on your personal circumstances. It is based on the fact that you go to see a consultant on a one-to-one -one basis. You choose the consultant, so that is very important. And they will talk through you, uh, they will measure you, they'll weigh you, they're, they'll recommend what they think is best for you, and it is based on your personal circumstances. And then based around that, they'll decide the best plan. Um, most people know it for having to do 12 weeks worth of meal replacements for those 12 weeks where you substitute all food for four meal replacements a, a day which have all your all of your daily calorie needs uh, and nutritional needs that you could possibly need so the way I like to think about it is a little bit like astronaut food instead of having um, to buy food and make all of the ingredients you've got sachets you mix them with water and there you go you have your meals um, and it also based around the fact that you should be drinking two and a half to three three and a half liters of water a day um, and that helps to keep you going so that is the plan in a very quick nutshell and um, you know uh, it's based on different products so the products that you have um, you have a whole range of different uh, different foods so you have porridges you have shakes most people know the shakes and the bars uh, and they could be ready made the shakes or ready to drink in little bricks that you can just um, have um, but you've got porridge shakes soups bars um, mini chocolate squares um, as snacks uh, and you've also got um, meals such as spat bog, mac, mac and cheese, um, chicken tikka, um, etc. So the products are very varied and they fit within various different types of needs. Um, so it's actually quite varied depending on, on what you need. When you start reintroducing food, you bring in things like chicken and broccoli and just gradually introduce foods, uh, starting with low carb and then gradually introducing some carbs until you get to a point when you're at maintenance and then it takes you back to your um, your average daily calorie allowance to make sure that you're eating balanced and sufficient enough calories to keep you going and maintain your weight. So, first impressions. I thought um, my first worries going into it were, am I going to be hungry all day? Am I going to be able to stick to it? Um, having looked at, done some research online and um, YouTube, etc., I saw the portion sizes and thought, oh my God, is that going to be it? And the first day when I serve the food, I have to say, is that it? Um, but what, by the time you mix it with water and you eat it, um, I think it must have something there to um, satiate, is that the right word? Or to fill you up because you really do not feel hungry at all uh, between the meals. Um, so first impressions, although I was a little bit apprehensive about trying it, actually the food's been really nice, um, I've liked the variety, I like how convenient it is and I've been able to fit it into my day to day and I am feeling incredible because I'm already starting to feel the benefits. Day 10, uh, in my f I, I had to wait myself in my f um, on day 5 rather than a full week and I had lost 11 pounds up to that point. Um, so I can't wait to go in and get myself weighed in tomorrow. Um, it will be day 11 and um, so not really a full two weeks yet, but I can't wait to hear what the results are. So um, first impressions are that so far so good. I'm finding it quite easy to follow. I'm looking forward to it. I'm not scared of the 12 weeks anymore. I actually have a holiday plan and I'm planning around the meal that I'm going to take with me so that I can stick to it even during holiday because... I don't want to um, stop the weight loss. Um, so something that I really want to stick to and it's really helping me because I'm already feeling a lot better. Um, I'm calling it my um, my diet honeymoon period. 
but it is real. I feel good, full of energy, happy, so I can't complain. <clears throat> now, going into highlights and lowlights. So in terms of the highlights, for me, it's just how convenient it is. I can take the bath with me in my bag. I can go out and meet friends for coffee and have water and then have a bath with me. Um, it takes very little time to make. Um, uh, the flavours are good. It's quick. Um, speaking of quick, um, just how much more time I have is also an incredible highlight. So uh, think about the time it would take you to cook your meals, to prep them, to clean up after... Uh, etc. Now I can just shake in two minutes, have my drink, rinse, finish, done. Um, grab a bowl, put a sachet, mix it with boiling water, maximum five minutes, between two minutes, stir for one minute, another two minutes, five minutes takes to eat, to prepare, 15 minutes max, it will take you to eat, then you rinse, you're done in 20 minutes, and that's your meal prep, at completed, done. Um, I love that. I feel like I have so much more time uh, in my days and so much more uh, available time. I have big commutes. I have um, very little time to myself, so actually that is amazing to have so much more disposable time. Um, other highlight for me is just how satisfying it is. If you eat within the four meals and if you have your water, you will not feel hungry. Seriously, you won't. You'll have loads of energy, you'll be able to go. I have surprised myself with how much uh, I'm able to last throughout the day, not think about food, not feel hungry. It does require you to drink the water, um, but the water actually helps you to feel hydrated, helps with the skin, etc. Um, so that's been great. Another highlight, I had lots of spots before and they're all clearing out, so I am quite pleased with how my skin is looking so far. And um, the final thing is that, well, clearly the weight loss, because 11 pounds in five days is pretty amazing. Um, and then, but it's not just about the weight loss. The benefits that I'm feeling um, in terms of the amount of energy, in terms of already starting to feel it on some clothes. I can see my face changing every day in the mirror. Every day I feel a different part of my body that is changed slightly. So it's a little bit like a discovery process of what's changing. Um, and it seems crazy to say that it's daily, but it is daily, seriously. I can feel my legs changing, my thighs. I feel my arms. Uh, if you see my other videos, you can see it in my face. Um, it's great and that makes you want to keep going and how I feel energy wise um, mental clarity it makes me want to keep going and it makes me want to stick to it so whereas when I started I was apprehensive now I'm like yes I can do this 12 weeks I've got this um, like I said I'm even planning on how to stick to it during the holiday that's how good I feel in it uh, do doing this diet so I'm you know I think how you feel makes you want to stick to it which it's different from other diets when you feel like you're being deprived of food. And even though you are, because you're not eating other food, you don't feel deprived. Um, it's more like, why would I want to eat this when I know that if I eat this, I'm going to get these results. It seriously is that. It makes you stay committed and get you in the zone. So, those are great benefits for me. In terms of low lights, um, it will require long-term commitment from you, so it, it does require you to commit to it. So like me, for my holidays, if you don't want to stick to it, if you're not in the right headspace, you will be looking for excuses to get out of it. If you're already in that space, you're not, you're not there. Um, because it requires a commitment from you, from your time, from your dedication to what you're going to do. Um, it does require you to plan ahead, so you can't just leave your house and think, I'll just grab something. No, you need to take your meals. And your consultant gives you the exact number of meals for the week. So if you've got, um, you know, like my first week I had five days and it's four meals a day, I got 20 meals and that's everything. So you cannot miss out on that. Um, so you need to plan ahead, you need to think about your meals, what you may fancy, what you want. If you're going to leave the house, you need to do that. Um, so it does require a little bit of time commitment, but I think it's just more readjusting your brain to how you, you think and how you operate and how you plan your days. Um, it will also change, uh, well, actually, before I even go into that, you will, because you're drinking all that water, you will go to the toilet, and a lot. 
Um, so I'm constantly running to the toilet. And one of the things that I'm having to do, remember I've just mentioned about having to plan ahead, mm, that applies not just to meals, but it also applies to um, when I can take water, when I'm going to have to go to the toilet. So, I mean, I don't plan every time I'm going to go to the toilet, okay? Let's not go crazy. But what I do have to do is I have an hour commute in the morning, so I can't really start to drink water first thing in the morning because then I'm going to need the loo during that hour commute. And if I find traffic, it could be an hour and a half. And an hour and a half stuck in that, that's not something anyone wants, okay? So a little bit of planning, but I do try to work out when other times when I'm not going to be able to drink water because I've got to commute or I've got to travel or do something. Um, and the rest of the time, I'm just making up for it. And definitely in the evenings, I make up for it. So uh, I'm able to stick to it, but it does mean that you go to the toilet a lot. Um, but that's for number one, because, and allow me for a bit of TMI, number two is a different story. If you are somebody that struggles with your digestion in the first place, then you may to need to think about having a little bit of fiber. Um, you know, your body will not have a huge amount of food to eat uh, and whatever you're putting into it is going to absorb everything it can. So things are going to slow down. So a bit of fiber keeps things regular, whatever helps you can, it makes your life a lot easier. Enough said. Now, so having got all of that ahead and um, the planning ahead, the other thing that I will say is the socialising is an important side. So if you use, like I was, um, to do most of your socialising around food, then this could become a little bit of a problem because you're not going to be wanting to sit in a restaurant surrounded by people, eating whatever is your favourite meals or whatever you want to go, and then you're having to just eat a chocolate bar, okay? You're not going to want to do that. You don't want to put yourself also exposed to those temptations when you're still getting into the groove of things, okay? So you'll have to avoid that. But find other means. I mean, I've gone to the cinema, okay? I would have, before I would have been stuffing my face with popcorn or with ice cream, but now I'm not. I get my bottle of water and I take my stack with me. And I can do that, but I can still go to the cinema. I can go for a walk in the park. I can meet somebody, go to a museum. I mean, that rocks my boat. If you do whatever it is that you enjoy, okay? Um, but you can do things. But it just means that you really need to think about how you are socialising. And just because you're changing doesn't mean that your friends and other people want to change too. So you may get different reactions. Is there a choice? You do whatever is right for you. Don't be conditioned by others. But know that that is something that will may ruffle a few feathers because it will be a change of dynamics. And then the final piece that I will say is that in the low lights is that if you talk to people that are not supportive of you or that don't really understand what this means to you, everybody will have an opinion and they will all tell you what works and what doesn't. Or, oh, I'm not sure. I don't think I could do that. Or I just don't know how you can do it. And um, oh no, not eating anything. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, or they start telling you about all the other plans that they have done themselves. <sighs> I mean, what I always say is, you do you, I'll do me, this is good for me, this is what I've chosen to do, please support me, and if not, end of conversation, move on. But it does require a little bit of get, getting used to that. Um, so th something to keep in mind. So, those are my low lights. Um, top tips. So in terms of how to stick to it, I will say, well, first of all, if you're not sure what to do or how to do it, the first, the best thing to do is just get started. Don't think about it. Don't try to over plan it. Find a consultant, go online, you know, Google the um, Cambridge Weight Plan Diet and it will show you the website and you can go through the consultants um, and just get started. Call them, do it. It'll change your life. Um, the second thing is um, find a consultant that really works for you and you connect with, okay? Um, that will be really important because it's the person that is going to be there to support you and to guide you through the different steps. So that will be very important. And I know that I've only been doing it for 10 days or, or 11 days and therefore um, me talk, 10 days, therefore me talking about get started, it will pay off in the long time since 
a bit too soon. Um, such and and talking about the consultant because I think the biggest support will come when you reintroduce food. But even now, I'm feeling the benefits of those two things. So I would say, really get started. Now, the third thing that I will say in terms of the top tips is choose the meals that work for you. If you're somebody who likes routine and you like to know what's coming and you like, know that you like to have the same meals the same times because that works for you, you go for it and you do that for you. Find the meal that works for you, try them, find the ones you like, stick to it. For me, I like variety. So I like to try everything possible and then I like to try to change all of the meals during the day. I don't like to eat the same things from one day to the next. I like to have different meals and I don't like to eat the same thing from one meal to the next. I like to have four different meals throughout the day and I like at least every two to three days to be different meals. Variety works for me and I have plenty to choose from. But you decide what works for you and you make it work. Okay? Now, um... Water is your friend or a foe. I know I went at length about, um, just spoken at length about water and how much you go to the toilet, but water is your friend. One of my consultants have to, because I was swapping between the two and they're both helping me out. Um, one of my consultants said, the more you drink, the more you shrink. I do believe that. I'm feeling the benefits. But also, I feel that in my skin. I feel that when I'm not drinking enough, I feel dehydrated. But when I do, my skin, my hands, my face, my body is feeling so much better. So water is your friend. Make it work for you. Choose a nice glass. Choose a nice bottle. Um, same applies for the meals, actually. Something nice that you like to drink out, eat and drink out of and make it that little bit special so you're not just drinking out of plastic. Um, that can be my next tip. Uh, so water is your friend. Choose plates that uh, and glasses that make it feel a little bit special just because you're dieting and you're replacing meals doesn't mean that, you know, you should make an effort for yourself because at the end it, it all makes a difference to you. Um, plan ahead. I have mentioned that a few times. We try to think about what's coming out throughout the day. I may be over planning about my drinking, but it works for me. But plan about your meals, plan your week, think about your weekends. Um, so interesting note is I started thinking that the weekends I would need more hot meals because I used to spend more time at home but I feel so good and so active that I want to be doing things and I'm thinking actually I need to shift things I need to start getting more bars for weekend meals because I can eat them when I'm on the go easier than a meal that I need to microwave so actually I'm starting to think about even how my dynamics are changing and how I'll make it work for me um, but do plan ahead, it makes a difference because um, when you choose your meals, that's what supports you through the week. Um, so that will be um, that will be important. And then the final piece I mentioned about everybody will have an opinion, do it for you. Commit to yourself. Um, whatever people say, it doesn't matter. You do these for yourself. It may be that um, you know you have that holiday that is coming up or you've got somebody's birthday or some party or whatever but at the end of the day you need to decide what is more important to you your health and your weight loss or that one party and in a year's time what will have mattered the most that you went to that party or that you lost the weight that you want to lose and what's going to throw you off balance going to that party or sticking to your meal maybe missing that out or maybe eating that meal instead of having that bite to eat. So think about what are the things that are going to help you, what helps you to stay motivated and focus on that. Um, I have a journal where I keep and I track everything. I track my meals but also I track how I'm feeling every day um, and I keep a log of how every day is evolving uh, and the changes that I'm noticing. And that helps me to stay focused because it helps me stay um you know, have to think about my diet every day, what am I eating, take stock of what I have, just consume, but also think ahead. Um, and it also helps me reflect, so how I had a stressful day, um, did I feel more hungry, uh, was I able to drink more water, less water, how tired did I feel or not? And that really helps me to think what will help me and what doesn't. And that's actually helping me to adjust my behaviours because I know that um, I really feel it when I don't drink enough water throughout the day. So I make the time and I look for time to make up for um, times when I haven't been able to drink as much water so I can get as much water as I need in. Uh, it helps me to think about the meals that I'm going to need. It also helps me to stay prepared for what are things that could derail me. So for example, going to the cinema, like I said, um, I still want to go to the cinema, 
but I don't need to eat the bucket of popcorn. I can just take a bar with me. But if I know I'm prepared for what I'm going to need, then when it comes to doing it, I don't have to think about it. Already I have my strategy, so I'm, I'm ready to go. So think about what you might need and what will be supportive of you. Ta-da! That's the end of it. So um, I've shared with you a little bit of an overview about the diet, uh, my highlights, my lowlights, and my top tips. I hope you enjoyed this. Leave your comments if you have any questions, please leave them. And I look forward to giving you an update of how I get on tomorrow for my way in. All the best and talk soon. Bye.